Today I'll show you how to create these stunning photo effects. This one is particle effect. This one is blinds effect. And this one is rotating cube effect. So how did we achieve these kind of beautiful photo effects? Did I take a picture, broke it down into small squares like this and then spread it all around on the slide? Or did I crop the image into vertical strips, arrange them at an angle to create this kind of a blinds effect? Or did I take two photos, arrange them at an angle so the top and bottom edges correspond with the top and bottom edges of the slide? No, I didn't do any of that complex stuff. All I did is to combine the native transition option in PowerPoint and used a print screen option. Yes, all I did is while the transition is going on, I took a print screen. That's it. It's a very simple technique. Let me show you how it is done. By the way, you can use this technique to create beautiful title slides like this or section headers like this or you can use it in any number of ways. Now, in your case, these photos will be relevant to the subject you are about to present. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. I inserted a picture so it covers the entire slide. I've shown you how to do this in any number of our tutorials on picture effects before. So you can always search for PowerPoint picture effects presentation process and you will find the technique of how to crop your image so it covers the entire slide. Now with that done, let us apply transition to this slide. In this case, the wackier the transition, the more beautiful the effect is going to be. So I'm going to choose one of the wackiest transitions available under exciting called vortex and this is how the transition happens. It's a very dramatic transition. By default, the duration is 4 seconds, which is fairly long. We are going to increase the duration even more, so we have enough opportunity to capture the moment. So let us go here and maybe take 10 seconds. It is completely up to you. Now, once that is done, it is all about going to slideshow and just when you see that the effect is just about right, you hit the print screen and that's it. Nothing more. If you're not able to capture the moment in one attempt, don't bother, try it again. So keep doing till the time you're able to get the right moment to capture and you will be really amazed at the result. Let me do it. Let me go to slideshow. And here you can see that the transition is on. So I have my uh, finger on the print screen. So now it is almost about to happen and I hit the print screen. Now let me go to the next slide by going to home and new slide and I'm going to right click and paste the picture. Now I have got this beautiful screenshot or the print screen done. So it is that easy. Let me do that again. Let us apply a different transition and capture that image. Let me go back once again to the same thing. And here I'm going to change the transition from say vortex to blinds. So this is the transition. Again, this is a fairly quick one. Let us delay this by around say 10 seconds. Let us have the duration as 10 seconds. And once again, let me go to slideshow. And when this happens, I am going to, so this is beautiful, hit, that's it. So I have already hit the print screen. Now let us go to a new slide. And then let us right click and paste. And now in this case, I have got at this moment, now, if I'm okay with this look, actually I am. I can use this for my slide background and I can write my title here. If I feel that I could have let the transition go a little further, I could have done that and taken the print screen at that moment. I did the exact same thing with this photo and this photo. Now, I want both these images to appear in one frame. For that, let me go to the second slide. You can see that this is the first slide and this is the second slide. I want to apply transition to this second slide. Let me go to transitions and the transition I'm about to use is this one called as cube. So this is how the transition happens. Now let me increase the duration to around say 10 seconds and hit enter. Now let me go to the previous slide. Let me go to slideshow and to trigger the transition I'm going to use page down and now I am ready. My finger is on the print screen. Now, when I see that this is about right, so I've already taken the print screen, right click 
and then let us go to home new slide right click and paste and there it is it is that easy for you to create these kind of beautiful picture effects using nothing but transition and print screen option in powerpoint now the thing is most training programs teach you how to use transitions and how to use print screen but there are very few people who would think about putting these two things together to create effects like the one that i showed you that is creativity you will learn how to use powerpoint in a creative way in our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program which is easily the most comprehensive and creative powerpoint training program available online i will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video you can click on the link check out more details about this product and if you think that this is the right one for you you can join this program in the meantime do you want to learn some simple and creative powerpoint ideas you can use in your next presentation then click on the link here to join our 5 day free email course called 25 creative powerpoint ideas these are simple quick and useful powerpoint ideas i have not shared elsewhere so go ahead click on the link join the course and i will see you inside